Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. Tonight on Sunday Night Football, the Jets open their season on the road at SoFi Stadium to face the Los Angeles Rams. For their home opener, the Rams will be missing their superstar halfback Todd Gurley, who was injured in the preseason and trying to take up the slack will be Christopher Robeson, that is quite frankly, <laughs> no Todd Gurley. Something for the Jets defense to take advantage of, I think. We'll see as the night goes on. The Jets offense will have to be in top form tonight to overcome the strength of this D-line here in LA. Aaron Donald is only three sacks away a hunt from 150 in his career. And I'm sure that he would love to get to that mark tonight. Can the Jets hold both the running game and the pass rush of the Rams in check tonight? Well, let's find out as the Jets butt heads with the Rams on the Football Freaks Sports Network. With Ashley Bernstein back deep, Trent Lyon gets us underway here in SoFi. Bernstein takes the knee and it comes out to the 25 where Jared Goff is going to take the Rams offense and try and drive it down the field for the first score of the game and we'll have to see if they come out running or passing because of that injury to Todd Gurley that might impact their offensive game plan quite a bit Goff and it's a pass and incomplete knocked away by Julian Love and we have our first look at the offensive lineup of the Rams. And one would think that Cooper Cup and Brandon Cooks are going to have to be very big part of this offensive attack if it's going to be successful this evening. And it's a pass out to Cooper Cup. First down out to the 44-yard line. Goff alone in the backfield. Drops back, throws, and it's complete. Out to Robeson, a seven yard pickup. Now another pass over the middle to Robeson. First down into Jet territory and uh oh, Blake Cashman is down and being escorted back to the locker room. This may not be good news for the Jet faithful. The pass this time is broken up. Julian Love on the pass breakup and uh, Brandon Cooks was who it was intended for. Goff going downfield and it's intercepted. Jamal Adams with his first interception of the season and he's now in the zone. The replay shows him taking the ball away from Cooper Cup and the Jets have it at the 18 yard line. The give is to Jackson. He's up the numbers on the right side to the 22. A four yard pickup, second and six. And again to Jackson. He has the first down out to the 30 yard line. So unlike the Rams, the Jets come out running the football. And now a fake handoff and looking and dropped. Darnold gets sacked by Donald back at the 15 yard line. Now on second and 25, another play action pass and Darnold goes down yet again. Gavin Jordan gets him at the three yard line. And now the Jets are definitely in a hole. Third and 37, Jackson with a simple run up the middle gets out to the 13. 10 yard pickup, but nowhere close to the sticks. After the punt, the Rams take over at just about midfield. Goff downfield, and this one is complete to Brandon Cooks and out of bounds at the 29 yard line. And the Jets are going to challenge this catch because it looked close. I, uh oh. It looks like he was in bounds. And that's a sad thing for the Jets because that means that they're gonna have to burn a timeout here. 
Second and 10. Robeson is taken down in the backfield by Jerron Mason. Third and 14. Back to pass. Over. No. He pump fakes and he goes down. Runs out of time. Cade Hoffman is the one that gets him back at the 39. That pushes him back out of field goal range. So the Jets take over at the 20. And up the middle goes Jackson to the 26. And on third and three. It's Jacobs for the first down to the 36-yard line. A single deep man for the Rams. And Jackson on the carry to the right. Gets out to the 42 before he's brought down. Now a pass play. Donald goes and it's intercepted. Brandon Smith with the pick and takes it back to the 43-yard line. Donald trying to get it into a spot that <laughs> he just had really no business trying to go there. But that gives the ball back to the Rams. The 43, across the middle, complete to Brandon Cooks. And he's down to the 19-yard line. Now on third and 12, the Jets a cover two and a screen pass to Robeson. Takes him down to the 12 yard line and that brings us to the end of the first quarter with no score. The Rams are in scoring position. They're gonna kick a field goal. And from 29 yards out, Emmanuel Allen puts it through and it's three to nothing. Now on third and nine. Darnold back to pass, across the middle, complete. And that is Rigoberto Howard. When he was at New Mexico, Rigoberto was just too long for people to pronounce, I guess, so they shortened it to the rig. And because of his size, and the name kind of stuck, and that is now his nickname. Interference is called. Marcus Peters working against John Ross just didn't work and a little bit too much hands. And the Jets have it at the one yard line into the end zone. Carl Arsenault, touchdown. He makes the first score of the regular season for the Jets. That puts New York on top, seven to three with Eight minutes left to go in the second quarter. Goff back. Completes this one to Everett to the 30-yard line. Second and five. The pass complete to Cup. Over the middle, first down to the 41. The Jets come out in a single high look. And the pass is complete. Robert Woods, now in his 12th season, makes the grab at the 47. Third and four, and the pass is knocked away. Marcus May gets a big hand on it. And that gives the ball back to the Jets. Jackson following his blockers up the middle, and he gets out to the 22-yard line. Third and three. Darnold back to pass. Over the middle, complete John Ross at the 38-yard line. Tackled by Brandon Smith. So on first and 10, Jacobs takes it outside to the left and gets out to the 42. Third and five. Pass over the middle, complete to Arsenault into Ram territory at the 46. Second and nine. Looking and finding over the middle. Howard gets down to the 33 and another first down. That takes us to the two minute warning. Second and 10. Donald outside to Herndon and out of bounds at the 27. Third and four. Darnold backpedaling, can't find anybody open, and finally he's taken down at the 29. 
And that is going to mean that Trent Lyons is going to come out. And he misses off to the right. And that wasn't just a small miss. That was a large miss. So the Rams take over at their own 36. A handoff to Robeson, and he's tackled at the 40. Now in the hurry-up offense, Cup takes it out to the 47 and a first down. All day to throw it, finding Cup over the middle to the 39. Goff back to pass, can't find anybody and is tackled by Jared Davis. He is taken over for Blake Cashman. And that is complete to Cooper Cup to the 37. 13 seconds left. A fake handoff and it's complete to Everett. Can't get out of bounds and has to waste a timeout. With seven seconds left, Emmanuel Allen puts through a 32-yard field goal and it's seven to six. And that will bring us to halftime. Each quarterback has thrown an interception in this first half, but the big deal is two yards on the ground for the Rams. The Jets doing an excellent job of keeping them in check. Now let's go to Eurocat Bay before a halftime update. Neither team is dominating offensively, and it seems as though this is turning into a defensive battle. Speaking of the defense, the Jets have lost left outside linebacker Blake Cashman for five weeks with a torn shoulder, and that means that Jared Davis will be playing in his place. It's a good thing that New York is pretty deep at the outside linebacker spot because having a player going down in week one is rather disheartening to say the least. Another action in the AFC East, it was the Patriots at home against the Bengals. Deshaun Watson was able to overcome a three interception performance to prevail by a field goal 24 to 21. The Dolphins will play tomorrow night against the Bills, so we'll be anticipating the outcome of that game. For now, stay with us because the second half is coming right up. Welcome back everyone to SoFi Stadium here at Hollywood Park. Both the Jets and the Rams have been able to hold each offense in check here in the first half, but will that hold up? The Jets' O-line seems to be having a tough time controlling the very strong D-line of the Rams, and will that be a factor as the game continues? Let's find out as we take you back to the action on the field. From the 28-yard line on third and seven, Darnold drops back, lets it fly, and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the grab. He's not been touched down yet, and he takes it all the way back to the end zone. A pick six for the veteran now in his eighth season out of Boston College. And Jackson just kept running around. I don't run. And he didn't touch him down. And the two-point conversion is no good. Cade Hoffman in on the sack. And the score is 7-12. to After a number of three and outs, the Jets punt it away. And Bernstein is into Jet territory at the 49-yard line. Goff. Hands it off to Robeson, and he has stopped in his tracks. Taj Little, the trade from Denver, making an impact on that play. Robeson, the lone setback. Goff on the play action. A flag on the play, and a sack by Coco Sheffield. A hold by Andre Dillard is declined and it is third and 20. Goff can't find anybody open and throws it away. Fourth and 20. The Rams have to punt. Away the ball goes and it drops at the five and is covered at the six yard line. So the Jets in another hole with two minutes left in the third quarter. Up the middle, Jackson trying to find some room, gets out to the 10. 
Darnold back to pass. A flag on the play and a catch by Howard will be negated by a holding call on Kaysen Shropshire. Third and 10 from the six. And that one's incomplete off the hands of Carl Arsenault. So the Rams will take over at the 47 excellent field position inside Jet territory. Robeson can't find any room met by Julian Love. Goff has all day to throw it. And finally, he finds Robeson out of the backfield and he's all the way down to the 12 yard line. That brings us to the end of the third quarter with your score 12 to seven. The Rams now threatening. The pass goes to Cooks and he has the first down to the two. No, they're gonna call him just shy, third and inches. And the pass into the end zone is incomplete. So on comes Emmanuel Allen and he puts through a chip shot field goal to make it 15 to seven. After a jet three and out, Goff back to pass, throws complete, Cooks the 38 yard line. Second and 11. The give is to Robinson, find some room, and he's down to the 31. Third and four. Pass is complete. Everett inside the 10, down to the seven yard line. First and goal for the Rams. And this one is complete into the end zone, Robert Woods. The Rams are now definitely taking control of this football game and they now lead by a score of 22 to 7 with just under six minutes left can Darnold bring the Jets back that one's complete across the middle to Carl Arsenault and I would think you're going to see a lot of passing from here on out this one complete to Ross out to midfield Donald back to pass again, goes down, and a fumble picked up by Jacobs, and he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Gavin Jordan making the play. That brings up third and 22, backpedaling. Donald finds Howard, but he is just out of bounds, and that brings up fourth and 22. They stay on the field. Obviously with just under four minutes left and Darnold goes down again in the arms of Aaron Donald. That's his second sack of the game. And the Rams take over right there at the 33 yard line. Up the middle goes Robeson to the 28. Third and one now. Back to pass and incomplete. Goff throws that into Nowheresville, but they're gonna try a 41-yard field goal and Emmanuel Allen is on target. It's 25 to seven. The Jets definitely having a hard time with this defensive line, and here they come again. Another sack by Aaron Donald, and that gives him 150 on his career. That also brings us to the two minute warning. Second and 17. Darnold back to pass and he is sacked again. Oh, this is just amazing. Pass goes to Herndon short and he's out to the 19. Fourth and 18 yards to go. Darnold back again, throws. Deep all alone, Arsenal, 10-5, touchdown. A glimmer of hope in what would be labeled as really a pretty dark game for the Jets. 
And after that short pass, I don't know as though the Rams thought that he was going to go deep, but Darnold connects with Arsenault, and it's 25-14. The onside kick is picked up by Brandon Cooks at the 43, and that will close out our game. What a heartbreaker in Los Angeles. From what I could tell, the defense held up well considering that they were left in some pretty ugly situations. The offense, however, especially the old line, just didn't hold up under the pressure of the Rams' front. As we got into the fourth quarter, the Rams' D really started asserting itself, and Darnold suffered because of it. He did show off his arm strength late as he threw that bomb to Carl Arsenault to put New York's lone score in the second half on the board. If you take a look at the passing stats, Goff obviously had a better game throwing the ball, but the constant pressure that Donald was under was the key as to why the Jets weren't able to move the ball. He just made some really bad decisions as a result of that pressure. Jackson didn't have an awful average per carry, but I just don't think that he got enough touches to seriously be effective, especially noting that the passing game wasn't getting the job done. The thing that really stuck out for me is that L.A. utilized the halfback out of the backfield pass a little better than New York did, and that seems like something the Jets need to work on. Also, Aaron Donald had four sacks in the game, and that's just a testament to the fact that New York's O-line was just being overpowered. It would appear that Donald needs to adapt to conditions that call for the need to get the ball out quickly and it would seem that he drops back far enough that gets him out of the pocket area so maybe a shorter drop back may be in order well next up for the jets is welcoming the jacksonville jaguars to metlife stadium jacksonville has moved on from the days of blake bortles running the offense and having secured mitchell's trubisky in the free agent draft they also have a star developing power back, Avery Mays, that just happened to be the Offensive Rookie of the Year in the AFC. That would indicate to me that the rush defense of the Jets will be tested in this next game. Because of a season ago, the Jags had a very good running attack with Mays, and it looks to be the same this year. From outward appearances, the strength of the defense comes from the play of the DBs. Jalen Ramsey, who is now a 99 overall, heads up the cornerback position, and Darnold would be well advised to avoid throwing the ball his direction. A weak point is the middle of the defense, which is not as strong as in past years. They do have solid bookends on the D-line in Josh Allen and Nelson Holmes, so finding room in the running game may be best taken up the middle of the field. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos as they come out. The Jets dropped their season opener against the Rams in a game that brought out a serious flaw in the O-line. Will Darnold be able to adapt to those conditions and help his team get to the playoffs this season? He has plenty of talent to work with and he needs to learn how to use that talent effectively. To find out, be with us for the season home opener when the Jaguars try to tear through the Jets in MetLife. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone.